I'm not sure where we went wrong. I assume that AB was on top of things. I guess it's pretty apparent now that he had no idea what was going on. Phil started out on track, but production fell apart in about three days. Uh, please don't mention my name in this. I wasted a whole shitload of money on this movie, and we didn't make any money at all, you know? I wasted three whole days of uh, my time on the production, and it was just an awful script. It was about a girl from Kansas, and she was an actress. And, well, I didn't really read the script, but I kind of flipped through it. And someone told me it was really good, so I agreed to do it. I think I was playing the girl Jenny. She was the one who got killed. I started working on this idea I had. I mean, I thought it was pretty good, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. It was about this girl from Kansas. She's trying to make it as an actress, and she gets this role in a big budget production, and all this weird stuff starts happening. You know, it sounds pretty familiar. Everything was going pretty good until we started production. Even though Chip sounded like a bumbling fool on the phone, I decided that it was a good idea. Even though, I should have known. It was going to be a total waste of my money, a total waste of time, for starters. He handed me the script late. I think the writer, Chip, I think he's mentally unstable or just really stupid. I couldn't tell which. So finally I got the screenplay, and I gave it to my assistant, and, and told her to read it and outline the major scenes for me. I wasn't so confident in the project. <coughs> I had a bad feeling about all of it, but it was about time I directed a thriller. So I stayed on. I wanted to try something new to work in some unfamiliar territory. When I met Chip on the first day of production, I was really impressed by his enthusiasm. You could tell he really loves his work. I, uh, I thought the screenplay was pretty good. You know, not the best thing I've ever written, but all right. The first day of filming, we on the scene where Jenny was followed by Dom who was hiding in her closet. I wanted the scene to have a voyeuristic feel, like the viewers watching the events unfold firsthand. Second day, we filmed the climactic scene by the river. I didn't really know how it was going to work, because I'd never been on such a huge production before. There were at least five people on set. You know, the way production goes, you can't always fill the things in order. I was trying to explain to Nicole how I saw the character of Jenny. I saw her as a symbol of female empowerment. I think she's supposed to represent Athena, the god of war. To me personally, Jenny symbolized everything I hate in women. You know, I'm a misogynist. As a character, I think that Jenny is... Maybe the best. We finished shooting that day. Then I started to realize that the two scenes didn't really make sense in the whole of the film. Finally, I came to a realization that nobody had read the screenplay. So I decided to go back and just take a hot bath and read over it again. After the guys, uh, what's his name, A.B. and the director, Guillermo, after they read the script, the project kind of fell apart. I realized that it made no sense whatsoever. The writer was completely insane. The characters come and go, the scenes had no connection to one another, and Jenny dies at least twice in the movie. Well, from the few pages I read, I thought the script was really good and creative. You know, it was like really good and really creative. Chip had no idea what he was doing at all. The most unprofessional person I've ever worked with. There's no way we could have gone on the way the script was. It was absolutely incoherent. Anyways, this is after $4,000 of wasting money. Footage is all I've got left after the production fell to pieces.